Hey, boys and girls. I have a new addition to my tribe. Martin Triple O Seventeen. I've been waiting patiently for this thing for a couple, two or three months. I don't remember how long, but it seems like 14 years. Uh, it's a spruce top, mahogany, sides and back. It has open tuners. Ooh, I love me some open tuners. Uh, and it's got all the, the Martin typical attributes. Uh, Rosewood bridge, fingerboard, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and a bone saddle and nut. Uh, now, full disclosure, it came with 1253 Manel wrap strings. And I like Manel wrap strings uh, because they don't produce the overtones uh, like phosphor bronze. Uh, but I like them in a lighter gauge. I have uh, an orange wood Ava and my Martin Triple O 15M have uh, the Martin Retro Springs, Strings, Springs, Strings. Uh, and I like them uh, in 1152 gauge on those two guitars. Um, the 1253s that came on here were just too tight. There was too much tension uh, for me, for what I'm looking for. Uh, now, you know, they might have gotten better in a week or so, or two days, or 13 hours. I don't know, but I didn't like them. I played with this thing yesterday, uh, Saturday, uh, quite a bit, quite a bit, and I just couldn't make myself like them. I tuned it down half step, and that made it a lot better, so that told me there's just too much tension. Uh, so anyway, I talked myself into uh, putting phosphor bronze strings on it. Uh, and I, I've, I've shied away from phosphor bronze uh, on uh, the Orangewood and the Martin because of the overtones. Uh, I, I, they just don't appeal to me the way I play uh, those two guitars. Uh, they just, I didn't like them. So uh, I was happy that this came with Manel, but they just didn't fit me. Um, so I talked myself into Foster Bronze, and I had three sets to choose from. I had uh, John Pierce, uh, GHS Cryogenic, and uh, what I have on here is DR Rares, 1150 gauge, all three. Well, I chose the DR Rare because uh, I... I change strings like some people change underwear. Uh, that's to say often, okay? Um, and I, I like to change strings. I like to see what, you know, gauge and makeup, uh, how it changes the sound, et cetera, how the way it changes my playing style, blah, blah, blah. So I, I do that um, just to see I like experimenting, you know. I've only been at this in earnest for well, since April of 2020, and you know when I when I first started back in this uh, in April of 2020, I didn't even know string gauge existed. Number one, I didn't know anything about uh, the the different styles of strings as far as their, you know. Bronze, phosphor bronze, 80, 20, Manel, nickel, electric guitar strings. I didn't know all any. I didn't know anything. So I've learned a lot in the uh, in the, in the short time, relatively speaking. But I'm an old guy, uh, and so time is of the essence. And uh, I've I try to put it all to use because um, I really do like playing guitar uh, and being retired. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I don't watch TV. Uh, I live stream on the weekends. I'll live stream a sprint car race or a Netflix movie or Amazon movie or something. But other than that, I don't watch TV. I read, play guitar, uh, or play at playing guitar. 
uh, I write songs and I do YouTube videos. Uh, and I enjoy doing these for posterity. My grandkids think it's pretty neat. Uh, Pop is on YouTube. Yeehaw! You know, so, so it, it's fun. I enjoy it. Uh, and I enjoy what they call NGD. is New Gear Day, New Guitar Day. Phew! Yes, sir, Ree Bob. Uh, my next acquisition is going to be a Gretsch Rat Rod. Um, yeah, it's on the horizon. And it's it's a light at the end of a tunnel that keeps getting brighter because I really like it. I have a Gretsch 2657T to Guitar Center model that um, I like it, uh, quite honestly. It's hard to change strings on, but I like it. Uh, uh, I like the way it sounds, yada, yada, yada. But that's just about my Martin. I've been waiting on this thing, and now I have two uh, American, if not international, musical icons that uh, might do my grandkids some good. You just never know. I mean, I don't abuse, I don't abuse them at all. Uh, it, so they ought to last a pretty good while. Uh, all else being equal. Uh, anyway, uh, here's what this thing sounds like now. Don't forget, now, I'm not a professional guitar player. I don't even register on the novice scale. Now this is going to be my favorite chord here. E. Oh, I love me some E. And I love me some A. Back to G. Whoop. Like I said, I'm a novice, almost. notice I don't use a pick. I don't. Uh, I've been told by several people, start using a pick. I don't like using a pick. I've tried. I even bought some thumb picks here last week and I just, I just. I just like that sound. in the hands of somebody that's not even a novice. I hadn't even taken the pick guard cover off of it yet. That's how much I don't abuse these things. Like, it'll, I'll probably wait till it starts bubbling up before I take it off. Uh, but anyway, uh, there you have it. Uh, I'm the proud new papa. <laughs> it, I call my guitars, uh, this is number 13, I call them my tribe. Uh, so I have a new tribe member, and uh, coming up shortly, I'm going to be recording a song with it uh, for YouTube that I wrote a few months ago. 
uh, that the melody just came to me recently and I've been working uh, diligently the last three or four days when I knew this was coming. Uh, I started tweaking on the song, trying to get it right. So uh, it won't be long. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all come back to see me now, you hear? Bye.